What is up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be testing a ton of different screen protectors for the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now I will be putting links in the description for all these protectors in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. I'm also going to be putting timestamps for each one of these protectors in the description because this is going to be a lengthy video. Now I'm also dedicated to doing this for you guys because I want to save everyone the time and the money by showing everyone which screen protectors are good and which ones to stay away from because I know how frustrating it is to try to find a good screen protector. All I'm asking is please show me that you care that I'm doing this for you by hitting that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So a couple things before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know to save you guys some time. Before I do any of the installations, I'm going to be wiping off the screen with an alcohol prep and then drying it properly. And I also will use the dust sticker. So I'm not gonna show that anymore. It'll save you guys some time. Next up, I also have the Z Fold S Pen that I'm going to be testing on each one of these screen protectors so you guys can see how that performs as well. So again, let's go ahead and get started. So if this is your very first time putting on a new screen protector, the first thing you're going to need to do is take off the pre-installed one that Samsung has put on there. Now, you need to be very careful because you don't want to damage your screen, which what I would recommend is maybe using uh, like a plastic pick or something like that. Um, nothing metal, nothing really stronger than the screen itself because you don't want to damage it. Okay, so very carefully, I was able to pick up the edge here just by using my fingernail. So if we just continue with that, we can kind of pull this off here. You want to go nice and slow, very even. It is very sticky, just kind of work it back and forth here. And there you go. That's the pre-installed screen protector. It's very sticky, very thin, very plasticky. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Now the same goes for the main screen screen protector. It does have a pre-installed screen protector, but this one, since it's on glass, you can pretty much just pick off with your finger and have no issues. And there's that. And then here's what the naked screen looks like. I will tell you it feels uh, pretty nice. It's not as slick. Your finger kind of um, kind of stops on it. Uh, definitely doesn't feel like glass, but we're gonna go ahead and put our screen protectors on it. Okay, so here we have the Rhino Skin Shield Screen Protector. It is a film screen protector. Okay, so here we get a $5 rebate gift card. Uh, we get an installation guide. And then here we have our screen protectors. So these screen protectors are actually just for the outside. So I just watched the installation video for this screen protector and I must say it's a little excessive for the outcome that you get. They want you to get a cup, put some water, some soap in it, and then get a spray bottle, fill it up with water, and dip it in just to get the same result as you would with some of the other screen protectors that I did that you just simply roll on. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the install for you just so you can see. Here's the screen protector. All you need to do is peel this off and then just simply lay that in your hand like so. We'll move the phone out of the way for a little bit. We're going to go ahead and spray this down with just some water. Make sure you cover the whole thing. We'll spray down the phone just a little bit just to get a little wet. And we'll kind of move this into place. If you are having a hard time moving it around, just spray it down with a little bit more water. It's not going to hurt anything. Take our squeegee and kind of just squeegee out the water here. Get out any bubbles. Now any bubbles that you see in my experience have pretty much been gone uh, in a day or two. So I wouldn't worry if you do get bubbles. 
they will pretty much go away or you can even try to lift the screen protector up again and then squeegee it back down to get some of those bubbles out there you go Just dry everything off we'll wipe everything down so everything like I said is working fine uh, touch is responsive it is grippy it's more grippy than any of the other screen protectors that I've seen and it does kinda have that orange peel look to it uh, there is one bubble there but again like I said you don't have to worry about it it should disappear within a day it also does seem to be a fingerprint magnet as well now if you can get past the orange peel look and the grippier feel I would definitely say that it's it's an okay screen protector I personally wouldn't get it but it'll definitely protect your phone I just think it's a little more excessive than what you need to do to put a screen protector on your phone okay and then here we have the Illumi Shield matte screen protector looks like we get a wipe a little squeegee card one two three four five six seven eight nine nine screen protectors and then our installation guides so again this is for the outer cover of our phone okay so for this screen protector all you need to do is peel back the number one and then we'll go ahead and line that up the best that we can then once you have that lined up the best you can we'll go ahead and lift up the rest of the card and then slowly push down with our squeegee get out some air bubbles right there and then we'll just push this back as you can see the screen protector just kind of rolls out all right now we're going to just go ahead and push out any bubbles that are left over okay and then once you're done getting all the bubbles out we need to very carefully lift off this number two because I already tried doing this once and it pulled up the whole screen protector again so we just need to kind of very carefully peel that up so you can see it's peeling up the screen protector again we need to push that back down just peel peel that off very carefully okay so there are some bubbles that was a horrible installation but they don't really give you a lot to work with it just it kind of is what it is okay so again this is matte and you can see that it is it's not shiny but the screen looks uh, pretty good it definitely dulls the screen a little bit but the text I mean the the touch is the same everything works perfectly fine and you can see the screen pretty nice like I said the only thing is the installation uh, is not the easiest because the screen does have an oleophobic coating on it and it doesn't uh, play nicely with the screen protectors but as you can see everything's working fine all the touch it's not bad it's nice and uh, smooth so your finger glides uh, smoothly across the screen not bad at all like I said the installation is just uh, a little horrible but uh, not bad okay guys so this is real janky <laughs> uh, basically what they've done here is they've given you screen protectors for for all of the screens the outer screen the inner screen for both sides they're separated so you get one piece for the left side and then you get the other piece with the camera cutouts for the other side so it's not it's not an all one piece screen protector it's just two put together for the inside uh, screen which I would probably stay away from um, it's just gonna look really weird I like the whole I like everything to be all one piece so we're gonna go ahead and see what this looks like again this installation is pretty horrible you just peel off the back here and then kind of uh, put it down the best you can the lineup on this is just gonna be really bad just because of the way they want you to install this
So again, we'll take our squeegee and just kind of push out the other part of the protector here. We can kind of help it out. This is just so horrible. I don't like this installation at all. So that part's down. I mean, so there's that. Then we'll go ahead and put on the other piece here. So there's that. As you can see, it's it's horrible because it's it's super hard to align everything. So this little piece here is sticking off the side. I, I this is. I mean, look at how crazy that is like there's nothing covering the middle piece that just looks horrible so I'm gonna I'm just gonna peel this off just because there's that side and then there's this side yeah look at how that looks that is the worst like why wouldn't you just make it all one piece that looks horrible yeah I I'm going to go ahead and say stay away from this one. We need all one piece to take care of, to cover everything, because this just looks horrible. So I'm just going to stop here and go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. All right, here we have the Oro Zero. Okay, it looks like we get four little cleaning kits here. It's got your dust stickers and everything. Here we get a nice big squeegee. We get some stops to hold the phone in place installation guide here we have some screen protectors for the outside uh, screen and then we have some full screen protectors for the inside screen as well okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is put down your little strip to hold your phone okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is to remove the little tab that says number one make sure you don't touch the underside and then we just need to line it up with our phone Okay, so once you have it down the best that you can, go ahead and use that squeegee and kind of get out any bubbles that you see, the majority of them anyway. Okay, then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna lift up on the number two here. Then we're gonna use our squeegee and kind of squeegee this over the top here. So you can see the card is coming out. Okay, we got one side kind of pushed down any things you see there. Then we're going to lift up on number three, put our squeegee here, and then just kind of squeegee that out as well. Careful taking off these guide stickers because it'll peel up the screen protector also. Squeegee out any bubbles you might see. By this middle, it in the middle of the screen is where all the bubbles are going to be. And getting them out might not be easy. You don't want to push too hard either. And then once the installation is all done, we'll go ahead and remove number four. Be very careful because it takes up the whole screen protector as well. Okay. So as you can see, there's one little bubble in the middle here. So anyway, uh, once you get all the bubbles out, it feels pretty smooth. Not bad at all. I like it except for the insulation. There's no guide. It's just kind of you eyeball it yourself and it's not very easy to do, especially for me to do it from behind a camera here. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and try out the S Pen here. It seems to be working just fine. We'll go ahead and do a little drawing to kind of see what it does. So as far as um, writing with the S Pen, it looks to be doing pretty good. There were some, there are some markings on here which I don't understand what they're from. They're like these circular, let me see if you can see it on here. I don't, there you go. I don't understand what those are from. 
but they're there. You can definitely see them. They're not from the S Pen. They were there prior, so I don't know what that's about. But it doesn't look like the S Pen really makes any marks on the screen, and you can you can uh, nicely write on it. You don't have to push really hard. But uh, there's some more circles down at the bottom here, and I don't know where those came from. So I'm not really liking this particular screen protector right now. I'll go ahead and fold it up. Yeah, I mean, it. it's fine uh, when you close it and open it again, that's fine. Just as long as you can get all the bubbles out. Um, but, I mean, it's really not, not a bad screen protector. Like I said, it's just the installation is, uh, it's, it's not that easy. So now we'll go ahead and continue on to the outside screen protector. Okay, so again, uh, there's a number one on here that you're just going to kind of peel up on. And you're just going to have to eyeball it the best that you can. It does not come out, uh, does not have a cutout for the camera. And just kind of squeeze, squeegee out any of the bubbles you see. I did have to readjust it because it doesn't leave you very much for the top and the bottom. Okay, then once you have that all done, we're going to go ahead and lift up number two. And you're going to want to take your squeegee, just put it right here, flip that over until the other edge comes out over the phone, and then just press that down. Okay, looks pretty good. We'll do the same thing for the other side. Flip your phone around, lift number three up, and put your squeegee behind it, and push that out. Installation's not bad, it's just there's, it's hard to, it's not that easy to line up. So then once you have all the bubbles out, we'll kind of we'll peel this up again, see if we can get it to come off without the whole screen protector, which it's not. This is the most frustrating part, is trying to get this last thing up to come up without taking up your screen protector. Okay. Okay, so that's off, then we'll just go ahead and put down uh, any bubbles we see. This definitely came out a lot better than the inside did. Make sure you push down those edges at the top and on the bottom so they stay. This one is actually pretty nice. I, I, like, uh, I like this outer one. As you can see it's nice and clear. Crystal clear. Touch works perfectly. Nice and smooth. Looks great. It's not anti-glare, so it shows everything. And then we'll, let's see how the facial recognition works. Yep, seems to work fine, even though there's no cutout for the camera there. Fingerprints. It does pick up a little bit of fingerprints, not a lot. And like I said, it feels nice and smooth. Now the only thing is, is these, lip, these edges might come up, so you might have to just work them down just a little bit and eventually they should stay without any issues. So the installation of the screen protector I think could have been better, not necessarily on my part, but they could have made it better for us to install. And the reason I say that is because the way that they have you install this is against the little dip in the middle of the screen. Had they have us install the screen protector with the squeegee pushing this way, I definitely think there would be no bubbles in the middle and the installation would have been, went better, but they have you install it against, against the little crease here, which is gonna make bubbles. So uh, screen protector, not bad. Installation is not good. Outside screen protector is really nice. So I definitely give the, the screen protector a thumbs up, but the installation a thumbs down. And then here we have another film screen protector by Folu. So in here we get our install instructions and little cleaning packets. We have screen protectors for the spine, the, ins the outside screen, the back of your phone, and the inside screen. So they got you covered uh, pretty much everywhere. And then you get this huge squeegee. So we'll go ahead and start off with the inside screen protector. So here it is. This one is super simple to install. I love the way that they've done this. It makes it really easy. So you have these tabs here. You kind of just lay the screen protector down on your screen and then make sure you line it up how you want it. 
so you can get a nice perfect installation. Okay, so once you have the screen protector in place where you want it, all you need to do is run your finger down the green sticker in the middle. Very easy. Okay, then what we're going to do is lift up on number one here. Get your squeegee, put it in the middle. Lift up. And then we're going to make sure we squeegee out that green port, the green sticker over the top of the screen. Beautiful. Go ahead and squeegee out any little bubbles we see there. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We'll go ahead and put our squeegee over here, lift back on tab number two, and make sure that the green sticker goes over the outside of the phone. Okay, and squeegee out any bubbles you might see. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and lift up on tab number two. Okay, and then we'll get out any bubbles if there are any. There should be very minimal. Like in the crease here, there's very minimal. Beautiful installation. Couple little bubble here, not horrible. But look at that. That was super easy. There are look, some bubbles on the side here, but those can come out very easily. Yeah, not a problem. All right, so very nice, very smooth and slick, feels good. As you saw, when we were doing the installation, we were going uh, with the little dip and those are the screen protectors I think that are going to give you the best results because we're not going against the dip we're going with it which pushes out all the bubbles feels pretty nice it's smooth go ahead and try the in display camera here we'll see if we can yeah there you go okay face ID works even though it is uh, covering the camera there Go ahead and try out our S Pen. Seems to be working just fine, no issues. Turn the screen off, and I don't see any markings from the S Pen. Perfect. Very nice. So I'm definitely going to give this screen protector a thumbs up. Go ahead and test out. Touch is nice. Doesn't affect anything. Everything's working very smooth and slick. The front camera seems to be working very nice. No issues there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up front and back. Very cool. Okay, so here is the outer screen protector here. There's a number one and there's a number two. All you need to do is put this on your screen the way that you need it to. Go ahead and press down on the middle portion here and just run your finger across it. That kind of makes it stick down. Then all we need to do is lift up on the number one. We'll push our squeegee underneath the back here and we'll push Push that out. Very easy. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. Just lift up on number two, put our squeegee at the line, and then make sure the green portion goes over the screen as we push out. Okay. Get any bubbles that there are out. And then we'll lift up on tab number two. And there's our screen protector. That came out really nice, very nice. We'll just push down the edges here a little bit, the top and the bottom. Beautiful installation, no problems. It, I mean, it doesn't even really look like there's a screen protector on there, so we'll touch that. Beautiful. Face ID works perfectly. Yeah, face ID works. It's just, like I said, the lighting in here. Crystal clear. No bubbles whatsoever. Perfect installation. Love it. So now let's go ahead and install the back screen protector. Okay, so this one works just the same. Okay, so for the back screen protector, this is not going to be an easy installation. I really 
don't know why they give it to you but anyway um, because of the material the it's matte on the back it's very slippery and this screen protector does not want to stick down um, so you can kind of just line it up the best you can but it may move on you during the installation and I'll it'll probably happen to me so I'll go ahead and push this down in the middle so it kind of sticks as best that it can and we'll go ahead and it's already sliding yeah this is not gonna work out very well go ahead and take your squeegee just put it over in the corner here lift up on one and then kind of hold down two and then push out the best that you can here cameras in the way we'll go ahead and stick that down okay so I did I held the two side because it was gonna move now once that's down we'll go ahead and take two put our squeegee behind make sure it goes out over the phone and just push out and then once you're satisfied lift up on two and there's your screen protector so as you can see look at how shiny the back is now um, it's kind of smooth. I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, it's just kind of weird. I mean, if you wanna, if you, if you're not using a case and your phone is bare, then I could definitely see you wanting this. But it definitely makes your phone uh, shinier. Fingerprints. It does pick up fingerprints, not horribly, but it does. It makes your phone more grippy and less slippy. So that is the back screen protector. Came out okay. So let's go ahead and do the spine now. So again, you're going to want to just line this up the best that you can. May not be very easy just because it's on its spine. Okay, so that's down. Then we'll go ahead and do the other side. And kind of press that down the best you can to get out any bubbles. Like I said, this is not going to be pretty. And we'll go ahead and peel off number two. And then just kind of push that down the best you can. Yeah, so mine got, uh, mine got put off on one side. It was too far on one side. And then if we try to close this. It does seem to go over it, but then we also have some like rubbing on the side here. I don't know if you can guys can see that. It looks like it like rubbed it. Now as far as overall use of the screen protector, you can see all the fingerprints on the front of my phone now. So there are gonna be fingerprints, but you can easily wipe them off nice and clean. Uh, I do like the overall installation and I do like the screen protectors themselves. They feel pretty nice. Installation of the spine is going to be harder, but I'm going to go ahead and give this screen protector a definite thumbs up. All right, next up we have Olexar. So here we have our cleaning packets and we have two internal screen protectors. Okay, so very important for this install, you're going to need to get this little application card out of the little packet. So all you need to do is pull this out of its little pouch. Don't let it, don't put it down on anything because the bottom green part is sticky. So we just need to go ahead and put this down on our phone how we want it. You can lift it up as many times as you need. Okay, once we have it where we want it, all you need to do is take your finger and run it down the middle green strip here. Definitely take the time to make sure you line the screen protector up right because it does take up the majority of the screen here. Once that's done, you go ahead and take your application card. We're going to go ahead and lift up on one and pull it back. And then we're going to put our little card here. We're going to kind of work it so the little green strip goes over the screen. Might have to help it a little if it gets stuck. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Going to lift up on number two, pull that back, and then just squeegee this forward. So the green sticker goes over across the phone. Okay, and then gets, get the bubbles out the best you can. And then once you're done, you go ahead and peel up on number two very carefully. Make sure that it doesn't take the screen protector. So as you can see, there are uh, quite a few bubbles on here. And that's because they didn't give you the installation card big enough to go over the whole screen at once. You're kind of like going across it and that makes bubbles. You can kind of try to work them out, but some of them you're not going to be able to get out and you might damage the screen protector because it is kind of, it's like that self healing. So that's that. Um, it picks up fingerprints really well, as you can see, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Go ahead and wipe those off. It will try out uh, face ID. Yep, that works. Could try our S Pen. S Pen seems to work fine. Go ahead and turn it off. We'll see if it left any marks. Hmm. I see minimal, very minimal marks. Not a whole bunch. Yeah, it seems to be uh, pretty good when you open and close it on the center fold as well. So um, it doesn't feel bad. It feels nice and slick as far as installation goes. I don't think that they gave you the proper tools to get a bubble free installation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you to stay away from this one because there are other better screen protectors that properly give you all the tools. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. All right, here we have one made by HJSM. This is a privacy screen protector, and yes, this is how it came. Here we have our screen protector for the inside, and we also have one for the outside screen, our squeegee tool, and then we have our cleaning packets. So we'll go ahead and start off with the inside screen. So the first thing we need to do is peel off number one, which is the bottom here. So we'll use that as the, the holding portion for our screen protector. So we want to line up the little camera hole with the camera on our phone. So I will tell you right now that the cutout on this is not, not correct. It's definitely off. It's like this thing is too big for the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down the best I can because it's overlapping on the phone. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our squeegee. We need to lift this up, push it back a little bit, and then number two has to come off. Okay, so we'll start that. Put our squeegee behind the screen protector and make sure number two goes over the phone. Kind of guide it if it gets stuck. Okay, go ahead and squeegee that down the best we can. There are going to be bubbles in the middle, I already know, because of the way that this, this installation works. And once you're done there, we're going to lift up on number three. Make sure it doesn't peel off the screen protector itself, which it is. Get that down the best you can. It's, it's too big for this screen. Okay, we'll lift that up. We'll go ahead and push down any other portions we need. I was really hopeful for this one too, but it is like it's it's too big for the phone. It like goes over it goes up onto the crease here, which I don't know if that's by design or what. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I, I'm not sure. There are bubbles in the middle here. 
yeah, I'm not going to even mess with that. So there are bubbles in the middle of the screen. You saw, look at trying to get that bubble out, just made a whole bunch of little more bubbles. Um, and as you can see, like it went all the way up on the edge here. And that was like perfect placement. I couldn't place it any better. Um, and then as you saw, the little cutout is not correct. It's like cutting into the camera. And as you can see on the edge here, it's coming up on the edge and I couldn't move the camera over anymore. So I don't know what they expect you to do here. It feels nice. I'm not, I'm not gonna deny that. But they just kind of made it too big. It doesn't fit the phone. So we'll go ahead and close this up, open it up again. And it just made a bigger bubble. You can see it like right there. Look at that long edge. That long right there. So that's not good. Um, this is a privacy screen. As you can see when I turn it, you can't see it anymore. But unfortunately, the installation is just, it's god awful and they miscut the screen protector. So I would probably tell you to stay away from this one. We'll go ahead and test the S Pen out anyway. S Pen works. Go ahead and turn it off. I don't see any marks from the S Pen, so that's nice. Whoa. Did you hear that? <laughs> Look at it just creased. It creased the whole screen protector. Yeah, this uh, this one isn't good. Maybe the outer portion will be good, but this the inside installation, horrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the outer screen protector portion just so you guys can see. Again, we'll lift up on number one. We'll tear that off so we can line it up. Okay, once we have that down, We'll go ahead and lift up on this. We'll peel off number two. We'll take our squeegee, we'll put it behind here, and then just make sure that number two goes out over the phone. Okay, that was pretty nice. Squeegee anything else out. Push down on the bottom here. Misaligned it a little bit. We'll go ahead and lift up on that. Take any bubbles out that we see. Just kind of push down on the bottom there. That installation was definitely a lot better. Um, I don't know how well this is going to stay on to the edge. It's It already seems like it's coming up a little bit. Yeah, see, so this screen protector comes around the edge, which you pretty much never want to do with a screen protector because it's just going to come up. They needed to make it just on the flat portion of the screen. But again, as you can see, when you turn it, you can't see it anymore. So it's a pretty cool idea, but they, they executed it pretty poorly. I'm kind of upset. I mean, because I like the, the privacy screens. And the camera works because of the hole. It looks really nice, but it's not going to stay down because they went over the edges. It's like here, look at how easy that peels up. It's just, it's just not going to stay. And especially if you're using a case, forget about it. So I would just go ahead and stay away from this, this screen protector. I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs down. All right, and then these screen protectors are by Fotum. This is the Do2. It comes with a back screen protector, it comes with a front screen protector, and the inner screen screen protector. A couple of wipes and your squeegee. So again, for this one, we need to peel off the number one. Try not to touch the underside. And then place it on your phone. Okay, once you've placed it, we'll go ahead and squeegee out any bubbles. This really isn't a big deal because it's not, these bubbles aren't touching your screen. Uh, these, these are just uh, for the, like the 
portion that we're going to peel off anyway. Okay, then we're going to lift up on number two here. It's going to lift up the whole screen. Then we need to put our squeegee behind here and then make sure that the top portion sticker comes off and goes over the screen. And then just make sure you lift it up over this little thing so it doesn't get caught. Okay, so that side is done. Now we need to do the other side, same way. Put our squeegee in the back here, lift up. And then make sure that the sticker goes over your screen. Just like that. Again, we kind of want to lift it up over the edge so it doesn't get caught. There is a top portion screen that we need to peel off, but for some reason uh, it didn't come with a sticker to peel it off. So if you want to, just be very careful and stick your fingernail under there if you can, just to get it started. And then peel it off. And that was the top, top screen protector portion. So there is the screen. You can get out any more little bubbles. Feels pretty nice, smooth. Try the face ID. Face ID works. We'll go ahead and try our S Pen. S Pen works fine. No touch issues. Turn it off, see if we can get any swirls. I don't see any swirls, but there is that line in the middle, as you can see right there. Um, I don't think that's coming out. So I did try to wipe it down, but there's that line that's in the middle there, and it doesn't look like it's coming off. So if that bothers you, it's gonna be there. So go ahead and close it up. Open it up again. Seems to be working pretty good. So inside screen protector, not bad. So now let's do the front screen protector. All right, so again, we'll take this out. Go ahead and peel back number one. Put this down the best we can here. Use our squeegee, just kind of push it down so it sticks pretty good. So now again, we're gonna lift up on number two. You can put your squeegee behind here and just lift that back. Make sure it goes up and over the screen. Okay, we'll do the same thing for the other side. And we'll just push that out. And we'll just push down the edges. And again, we need to lift up on this that extra screen protector that's on there. And there you go. Looks pretty nice. I just, I don't understand how they miss some of these steps. It's like, why don't you put like a little tab there so I can lift it up easy and not screw up the installation. But it does look nice, crystal clear, as you can see. No bubbles. Face ID works fine, touch, no issues, and it covers pretty much the whole screen. Very nice. So now let's do the back screen protector here. So this looks like it has a spine as well. It's all in one. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work out because you need to separate the spine and the other piece. So I guess we just take, just peel this out. Try not to touch the bottom if you can. I mean, it doesn't really matter, it just doesn't want to come out. So we'll go ahead and lay this down, line it up. Take your squeegee and just squeegee that down. And 
And again, we're going to need to lift up on number two here. And we'll put our squeegee behind. Make sure that lifts up and over the camera here. Kind of push that down, get some get the bubbles out if you can. We'll do the same thing for the other side. We'll lift up on here, put the squeegee behind, and then get that to come over the back of the phone. And again, this is gonna make your phone, you know, shiny in the back. And then we gotta peel off that other screen protector here. This is pulling up the whole thing. This is why I don't like this. And there is your back screen. Not a horrible installation. Again, it does feel uh, pretty smooth. It does pick up fingerprints, but again, it's going to you know, protect your back phone. And then we have that spine installation here. This is going to be interesting. Just kind of peel, peel that off like we did the other one. And just put this on the best you can. And lift up on one end. And take your squeegee kind of push that out okay and do the same thing for the other side and then just kind of push down on the edges it's it's not going to be the best installation um, and then just kind of pick off that extra screen And then you want to push down on any of the, the remaining edges here. See, I got it and it covered more on one side than it did in the other. So when I close it, I'm sure it's going to peel that up. Just kind of put that in there with your fingernail if you can. We'll go ahead and see what happens. It's not bad. It kind of it stayed. Some bubbles in there, but at least your spine is protected if you, you need it. So I'll open it up again. It seems like it's going over it. So I do like this screen protector. I don't really care for the installation, <laughs> um, especially because of that last piece that you have to pick off with your fingernail. The inside looks great, except for that little line. Um, if you can get past those little things, then I would go ahead and give this screen protector a thumbs up. Okay, next up we have the Furalinzo gl Tempered Glass Screen Protector. Comes with a whole bu bunch of wipes. Here's a squeegee, your instruction manual. Here are all the screen protectors, which I want to mention are not tempered glass. So they mislabeled this box as you can see it says tempered high quality screen protector um, and these are obviously not tempered glass so they give you this little mat here that you can put down to kind of keep your phone from moving around this also comes with two external screen protectors and two internal screen protectors nothing for the back of your phone so again you just take this out of the package here you're then going to need to remove tab one from the underside and then you're going to want to line this up properly with your phone. You can move it around if you need. Okay, now once you're satisfied with where the screen protector is, just push down on the line with your finger. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lift up on tab 2, put the squeegee behind this line. We'll push out so the green tab goes over the phone. And then you might have to help it because it gets stuck. Okay, squeegee that down. We'll do the same thing for the other side. We'll go ahead and lift up on tab three, put the squeegee behind it, make sure that the green tab goes over your phone, and then just kind of help it over the little piece at the end here. Then get out any bubbles that you can. And then finally, we're gonna lift up on tab four, make sure you don't take the screen protector with it, and then squeegee out any remaining bubbles that you see. Okay, there are no bubbles I can see it looks pretty nice and this little piece did help out a lot screen feels nice see if the face ID works 
Base ID works fine. Try the S Pen. S Pen seems to work just fine. I don't see any visible markings from the S Pen, but again, I do see a line going across the middle, like right there, you can see it. That may bother you. It doesn't bother me, but it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, install wasn't wasn't bad. It was fairly easy. Uh, like I said, I don't see any bubbles. We'll go ahead and close it up. Yep, the crease seems to be working just fine. All right, so I'd say that was pretty successful. Touch works great, nice and slick, like I said. Everything's working great. All right, so let's go ahead and install the outer screen protector. All right, so for this one again, we're gonna need to peel off uh, number one from the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and line it up the best we can on our phone. And then once you're satisfied, go ahead and run your finger over the green portion in the middle. Then we'll go ahead and take our squeegee. We'll go ahead and lift up on number two and put our squeegee behind it, making sure the green goes over the phone and just kind of push out. Okay, we'll do the same thing for number three. Squeegee out any bubbles. And then finally we'll, we'll peel up number four, just make sure it doesn't take the screen protector with it. And there you go. And just smooth down in the edges you see. Very nice installation. Crystal clear as you can see, no marks, no bubbles. Screen works great. Face ID works fine with the camera. Touch, no issues. Perfectly fine. So if you can get past the fact that this said it was a tempered glass screen protector, <laughs> uh, I would definitely give this screen protector a thumbs up even though it is film. But if you want a glass screen protector, then I'd say no. But for it being the film screen protector for the front and the inside, definitely, definitely give it a thumbs up. Now, up until this point, all these screen protectors that I have showed you have been pretty much the same. They pretty much cover the same area on the phone. And if you're interested, if you're using a case like I do, here's the outer portion. If I put it on, it simply covers the whole the whole edge of the screen protector. So there, there's no lifting, uh, anything like that. But if you constantly take your case on and off, there may obviously be some lifting, but if you don't plan on doing that, you shouldn't have any problems. Like you can see here, there's no lifting around the edges. Everything looks really clean. So if you're gonna use a front case, you shouldn't have any problems with any of the screen protectors that I've shown you this far. The next one we're going to take a look at is IQ Shields. This is the matte version. So here they give you a wipe. They give you a rubber squeegee. Here's your installation guide. Your stickers. And here it comes with a vial of the liquid. So it looks like it comes with two screen protectors for the inside and two for the main screen. Okay, now before we do this installation, they want you to make sure you wash your hands and you've gotten all the grease or anything that you might have in your hands because we're gonna be putting the screen protector in our palm and then spraying it down. So here we have the one inner screen protector. We'll go ahead and peel it off here. Go ahead and put that into your palm and then spray it down. You don't have to worry about over spraying because we're just gonna squeegee it down. They also want you to spray down your fingertips too so it doesn't stick. All right, just kind of move it in place here. Okay, then once you have it in place, you're gonna wanna squeegee out all of the water. So I would probably say do it from the center out. does slip around a little bit. So just kind of do the best you can. 
there is not a lot of room for adjustment here. As you can see here, it just barely lines up with the camera. I absolutely hate these wet applications. It's just, I think it's more trouble than it's worth. This thing, it keeps sliding around, making it really difficult to place properly. And the fact that they made it like right up to the edge uh, doesn't help because it doesn't give you any room for error. All right, so that looks pretty good from what I can see here. So now we just need to let it set for a couple hours and we'll come back and see how well it's, it's held down. Okay, so while the inside screen is curing, we'll go ahead and do the outside screen. Move that off to the side. We'll go ahead and spray our fingertips a little bit. And we'll go ahead and peel this off. Make sure you spray this down nice and good. This one will be a little easier to line up. It's just so difficult to do because it slides around so much. <laughs> yes, I definitely think that's better. It's a little hard to do it from behind the camera, but I think that's pretty good. So just squeegee out all the liquid now. And then we'll just dry that off. And then again, we'll go ahead and let this sit for a few hours. We'll come back and see how good it's held down. Okay, so we're back. I have left the screen protector on the phone for the past 24 hours. I also waited at least three hours before I closed up the phone. And I've also put a case on it just to see uh, how well it works. So here we have the front screen. As you can see, there are a couple uh, specks on here, but that's just because uh, like a little piece of dust or something is stuck underneath it. Other than that, it looks pretty good. It feels really slick and smooth. I, I actually like it. We'll go ahead and take the case off and see what it looks like underneath. All right. So we do have just a little a little bit of uh, peeling up in the corner here. That was not there this morning when I put, uh, before I put the case on. So I think that the case probably did that. But for the most part, I think it does look uh, pretty good on the outer portion of the screen. So thumbs up for that. Now here we have the internal screen. Um, as I told you before, I waited at least three hours for this to cure before I even closed up the phone. And uh, everything looked good last night, but this morning, uh, as you can see, the left side of the screen protector was uh, starting to peel up. Now, you can probably maybe push it back down with your finger here. You can still see that it's not 100% right, um, but I will tell you that you want to take your time putting the screen protector on because it is so tight. Like the tolerances are, are very tight. There's not like a lot of room on either side for the adjustment. And when you're applying the screen protector, as you saw, it's hard to get it to stay in one spot when you're trying to squeegee out the water. And then as you can see, the cutouts are not perfectly cut either. Uh, there's a whole bunch more on the top that should have been uh, kind of a more a tighter so that's just one of the downsides now the other downside which I think is a huge deal is what it does to the screen I think you're probably not gonna want this so when things are light like this it kind of looks okay but then if you look at a screen where there's white I don't know if you could see that it kind of makes the screen look like you had your face up to like an old tube TV. I mean, look at the top, look at the top here. How, it looks like, like there's a whole bunch of grain on the screen. It just, it takes away this, this beautiful, crisp, clear screen and it makes it all grainy. There you go, you can see. So that's not something that I really want, especially if you're looking at pictures uh, and things like that things are really like hard to see like look at what it does to that screen 
I just think that's pretty horrible. So you have this beautiful clear screen before you put the screen protector on it and then this is what it this is what happens. But let's go ahead and test out the S Pen. So everything seems to be working fine with the S Pen. Go ahead and turn off the screen. So I do see a lot of marks. Um, you can see it too from the S Pen. So I'll go ahead and wipe this off and see if it changes anything. Yeah, so the marks are gone. Initially, it does seem to make marks with your S Pen, but uh, you just wipe them away and it looks uh, the way that it was. So. I'm going to go ahead and say to stay away from this. Like I said, I, I love the way that it feels. If it was, if it felt like this and it was like a, not glossy and it was clear, it would be really nice. But just the way that it makes the screen look is just horrible. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. But if you like the way that it looked, then go ahead and get it. But I would stay away from this. And also, if you're curious, if... Um, People can still use scanners to scan like coupons and things like that through this matte screen. I took this to the UPS store and they had to scan a QR code through it and it seemed to work fine. So if you're wondering about that, this should work fine with having to scan things from this screen. And then if we want to take it off, I'll show you how easy it comes off. Just kind of pick it up from one edge and you just peel it off. There you go. Same with the outer edge here. All I do is find a corner, peel it up a bit, and it comes right off. No residue at all. Okay, so next up is the IQ Shields clear screen protector. So again, you get two front screen protectors and two inside screen protectors. You get the solution. You get a wipe, your installation guide, and your squeegee. So again, for this installation, it's going to be the same. First, you're going to want to kind of wet your fingertips. Make sure they're clean. Go ahead and peel off the screen protector. Just put it in your hand. Spray it down. Kind of line it up the best you can. Trick is to squeegee out enough to where you can get it to stay, which is not easy. So for this, I think you're just gonna have to let it let it dry. I I squeegeed out the majority of the water that I could, but it's still sliding out. It's still sliding all over the place. Um, so I think I I placed it where I want to. Now I'm just gonna kind of let it dry uh, in place because. It, if I squeegee it anymore, it just keeps moving around. So we'll just go ahead and move on to the inner portion first. So the same application here. You're going to wet your fingers a little bit. Peel off the screen protector. Then we're going to spray that down. Spray our screen a little bit. And again, just like the other one, there's not a lot of play. So you need to make sure you line it up perfectly. And once again, it's going to be tough because it slides around so much. But now this one looks like the cutouts are definitely much better than the mat. So what I did uh, to make it a little better, I, I kind of held it a little bit and just squeegee it out little portions. So it kind of got stuck a little bit. And then you just start squeegeeing out more and more until it's exactly where you want it. it seems to work out pretty good seems like we got the majority of the liquid out so I'll just go ahead and pat down it shouldn't move now but you don't want to press too hard on some of these edges here and then what I'd probably suggest doing is just kind of work down the center and maybe around the edges just press down a little bit to get them to adhere so that was pretty successful. So now all we need to do now is to just wait and let it dry. 
Then here's our front screen. That came out pretty good. As it sits right now, it is not, uh, it's not real slick. It kind of feels like rubbery, like it, when you want to swipe it like kind of wants to stop your finger. So we'll see, but it looks, uh, looks pretty clear so far. So again, we'll just go ahead and wait an hour or two and let that dry. Okay, so I've left the screen protector on here now for a couple hours and it seems to have dried. One thing I will tell you about this screen protector is it picks up fingerprints uh, pretty bad. Um, I had my palm on it and as you can see, look at the whole screen. And because it's like that rubbery texture, it doesn't wipe off very easily. Like you really have to kind of to work at it and then if you use like a towel it gets all the you know the little pieces of the lint all over the screen so it really isn't uh, it's not the best I mean you probably want to clean it off with um, maybe like an alcohol wipe or something other than maybe like a towel um, but it looks to have cured almost bubble free and any bubbles that do come up on the screen should go away within a couple days from my experience with all of these types of screen protectors now like I said it does have like that uh, kind of a grippy feel to it and as you can see it does have like that orange peel texture I don't really care for that <laughs> I like my screen to be nice and smooth and not like grippy um, but we'll go ahead and uh, test out the S Pen here Okay, so here we have our S Pen. It seems to work just fine with the S Pen. The only thing is, it doesn't it it doesn't glide as smooth. It kind of it wants to um, kind of stop because of that grip to it. So it doesn't make it as nice of an experience I think to actually draw on it and it might actually even wear out the tip a little faster uh, because of that grippiness like it's gritty like I can feel it like it kinda wants to stutter and I'm barely even touching I just yeah I'm not really uh, I'm not feeling the S Pen on this type of screen we'll go ahead and turn it off see if there's any markings I don't see any markings from the S Pen although there's a ton of lint on my screen again like I said before this is not the best screen it just wants to collect everything fingerprints lint anything so I don't really see any markings from the S Pen so I think it's fine for that up uh, like I said I don't like it because of that grippiness but you may so this is the first time that I'm closing this okay and then here we have the outside as you can see look at all of the smudges it's it's ridiculous it's really bad and that's just from me just holding it just now and I mean you really gotta kinda work at it to get those fingerprints off so again installation looks to have been successful I, I don't really see any bubbles other than maybe a couple uh, here down at the bottom that should disappear again within a couple days uh, this one again has that that grippiness to it. It looks pretty clear uh, No issues there uh, Touch works without any issues Again, it, like I said, it's got that grippiness to it, and it also has that orange peel uh, type of texture And then we'll go ahead and open this up one more time Yep, everything looks good. There's cutouts for the camera and the sensor on the top and our touch there's no issues there's no issues with the touches here but like I said it's got that it's got the grippiness that I just I just don't care for so um, as far as clearness uh, I think it's good but for overall I probably would stay away from it just because I just clean this the fingerprints are horrible Fingerprints horrible if you use an S Pen. I don't think you're gonna have a good experience with it. Uh, but as far as like viewing, everything is clear. I just think there are better options. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. Okay, so the next screen protector we have is by Delta Shield. 
military grade mobile device protection and this is also clear. Okay, so here we have our installation guide, our solution, a wipe, our squeegee, and here we have two external screen protectors and two internal. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to uh, spray your fingertips and we'll go ahead and peel off the screen protector put that on your hand and then spray down the screen protector and then I'll spray the screen a little bit and you want to get this in place so the way that I found to work this the best um, kind of you have to line it up the best you can and then start to slowly squeegee out certain areas of it so it starts to stick in one place because if you don't this thing is going to move all over the place so you can do that and then you can slowly start to do the rest of the screen protector I kind of start from the from the middle out because you don't want any bubbles to start from the middle and once you think you have everything down, you can kind of just wipe off the screen. Just gently pat it um, so you don't, you know, really disturb anything. And then once you have that all set, I would recommend not closing your phone and just leaving that open for at least an hour or two so it can at least dry a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to do the front installation. All you need to do now again is uh, spray down your fingertips take off the screen protector put that in your hand spray it down maybe give the front of your screen a little spray and kinda move this into place the best you can and once we have it where we want it we can squeegee out the water seems like that came out pretty nice and we can just kinda dry it off and then again we're gonna let this dry for uh, about 12 hours okay so here we are next day everything seems to be pretty much uh, cured and bubble free now just like the other two IQ screen protectors that we did uh, this one picks up fingerprints like crazy. Uh, as you can see, even on the outside, it does the same thing. So when you're cleaning it off, it still has uh, that grippy feeling. So it's going to be a little bit harder to clean off, especially when using like a little microfiber towel. You can see how it just picks up all the lint. So it doesn't clean off very well. You're probably going to need to use like uh, maybe like uh, some alcohol or some something liquid to clean off the screen really well. I just used my shirt a little bit. It seemed to do a little better job, but it's going to take a little bit more time to clean than some of the other screen protectors. But as far as the screen protector goes, it seems to be uh, doing pretty good. It's staying down. I don't see any bubbles. Uh, the cutouts are perfect. As you can see, they're perfectly lined up with the camera. So that's awesome. Uh, again, it does have that orange peel texture. It does feel grippy. It's not like super smooth like some of the other ones uh, are. We'll go ahead and test out the S Pen here. <laughs> Seems to be writing just fine. It's not too bad. It doesn't feel uh, like grippy like the, some of the other ones were. So now I'll go ahead and turn off the screen and look. So there are a whole bunch of uh, pen marks, uh, but I think that's just because the screen is not clean. So let me get it totally cleaned off and then we'll take another look at it. Okay, so the screen is fairly clean now. Uh, just some lint left over, but there are no swirl marks left over from the S Pen. So that's definitely a good thing. Uh, as far as the touch goes, uh, everything's working perfectly fine. No issues there. 
yeah, touch works perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and close this for the first time. I did leave my phone open uh, overnight, and like I said before, this is the first time I'm going to close it. So go ahead and close that up. Now here is the outer screen. Outer screen looks just as good. As you can see, it does have that orange peel texture. Uh, it's somewhat grippy. You can still slide your finger, but it's not like glass or plastic. Uh, looks pretty good. As you can see, the screen is crystal clear. And then just for a testing, we'll go ahead and put one of me, my outer screen protectors on here. So as you can see, it looks pretty good with the case on it. Um, and because the case kind of goes over the screen protector, I think it does a lot better than um, some of the other ones that might push it up from the edge uh, when you push the phone inside. But I'll go ahead and take this off and then we'll take another look. It seems to be just as fine. As you can see, there's no peeling up on the edges. Camera's cutout is pretty good placement. It looks pretty good. So it definitely seems to work with the cases as well. The only thing again is it just picks up fingerprints, you know, a lot. But other than that, it uh, seems to be doing pretty good. And there again, I opened it up, no issues at all. Close it up, we'll open it up again. Yeah, no bubbles, it's, it's a pretty, flawless installation so other than the fingerprints i'd say this is a pretty good screen protector so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up all right so next up is skinomi's screen protector this is another matte screen protector and it also uses that liquid so here we get our instructions our little vial of liquid our little wiping pad and two screen protectors for the outer screen and two for the inner. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with the inner screen protector. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is kind of wet your fingertips. And we'll go ahead and peel off the screen protector. And we're gonna wet it down thoroughly. Spray our screen a little bit. Now I just realized this, but this screen protector did not come with a squeegee to squeegee out any of the water. So um, I'm gonna use one from my other kit, but I'm gonna go ahead and say to pass on this already because they don't even give you the proper tools to do the installation. Okay, so that's done. I'm just gonna kinda wipe it up. Okay, so the inside screen is all done. And I don't like this already because it does the same thing as the IQ screen protector and it makes your screen look all grainy. It really is pretty bad. And it looks like the cutouts are kind of the same too where it's a, it's a little off as you can see. So I'm still going to go ahead and do the outer screen protector, but it's going to be, this one is going to be exactly the same as the IQ screen protector. Okay, so for the outer screen, we want to do the same thing. We want to go ahead and wet our fingers, just the tips. Then we'll take off the screen protector, lay that in your hand, and then spray it down. And spray off our... We'll spray our screen a little bit. We'll go ahead and put that down. So this one seems like it's gonna be just like one of the other ones we did where you're just gonna kinda of have to let it sit and dry because no matter how much you squeegee out the water, it just keeps moving. 
but we'll go ahead and try it out here. All right, so that's probably gonna be the best that I can install it. And then you just need to let it dry for probably an hour or two, just so it can set. So before I let this even cure, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I do, again, I love the way that the matte screens feel. They're nice and smooth, and they don't pick up a lot of fingerprints. Uh, the only thing is, it's the way that it makes the screen look. You, you have this beautiful screen, and the mat makes it look like grainy. I, it just looks horrible, and you can see that even when it, like when the screen dims out, you can really see it. It just, it looks so, it looks horrible. So that's like the the only downside to these matte screen protectors that I can see. Other than that, I I really love them. If they were not if they didn't make everything look horrible like that i would say get it but because of that me personally i would not get these matte screen protectors i would just uh stay with the clear and then i don't know if i just got a bad one or what but uh, it did not come with a squeegee as you can see this one's from delta shield so i i don't know if they just kind of left that out or or what on purpose i don't know so I will say the installation came out pretty good. There is a little dot under here for, from something that was stuck underneath the screen, so that's not the screen protector's fault. Um, again, I do like the feel. We'll go ahead and test out the S Pen. So it does, it does work with the S Pen, um, but <laughs> this screen protector, it feels like grippy. So it, it's not gonna be the best to use with the S Pen because it, it wants to stop it all the time and it feels kind of gritty. Um, so that's something else to kind of keep in mind. I'll go ahead and turn the screen off. I don't see any marks from the S Pen, which is good, but I don't think it's going to give you a really good experience uh, drawing on it either because of that grippiness. Touch works perfectly fine. When you run your finger across it, your finger is very smooth across the screen, but with the S Pen it is not, I guess maybe because of that rubber tip. But yeah, touch works perfectly fine, no issues there. It's just that graininess. And if you're curious about the cases, I'll go ahead and put this one on. There you go, it seems to be working pretty good with the case itself. And that's because it goes over the screen protector instead of you pushing a phone into it. And uh, things pushing up on the edges. I don't particularly recommend this because of that The way that it makes your screen look it's just I don't know it bugs me so between the S Pen Not really working super well and the way that it makes your screen I would probably tell you to stay away from this screen protector All right, and then here we have this Skinomi screen protector that is clear same thing uses that water application so here you have your instructions, your little wipe, your liquid, two screen protectors for the outside and two screen protectors for the inside. And once again, no squeegee. So you're gonna have to use like a credit card or something to, uh, to get the liquid out, which I don't really care for, but they were too cheap to include one. Okay, so first up what you're gonna wanna do is to wet your fingertips. We'll go ahead and peel off the screen protector. Then we're gonna wet this down. Then spray off our screen on our phone just a couple times. So once you have it down in place, I always try to squeegee out the bubbles from the middle out. Really take your time to make sure that you have this down in the right position. Okay, so the installation of the inner screen is done, looking pretty good. I did get a little hair stick under, stuck underneath the screen protector, so that's just my fault, but everything else looks good. So we'll go ahead and let this dry for a couple hours. So now I'll go ahead and do the outer screen. So again, you want to wet your fingers. I'll take off the screen protector. I'll wet this down. Just 
spray off our screen a couple times. Okay, so now that that's all done, we'll go ahead and let this cure for about an hour or two. Okay, so here we are about four hours later, and it is pretty much cured. So as you can see, it does uh, pick up fingerprints and smudges really bad, as well as the front does too. But it looks like a pretty solid installation. I don't see any bubbles. The edges are staying down nicely. I do have this little hair that I got caught uh, underneath the screen protector but that's my fault the cutouts for the camera and the sensors seem to be okay uh, lined up so that shouldn't give you any issues either as far as touch goes it uh, feels kind of rubbery it does want to uh, stop your thumb or finger when it when you're kind of moving it over so we'll go ahead and test out the touch everything's working fine yeah everything works there yeah, no touch issues, everything's working fine. So we'll go ahead and try our S Pen. So for this screen protector too, it kind of wants to rub. Um, I can feel it like stopping the S Pen. So if you're planning on using the S Pen, I probably wouldn't recommend the screen protector because it is, uh, it's not gonna give you a pretty, you know, a good experience. Uh, some areas are smooth, some areas it just kind of wants to stop, so it seems pretty inconsistent to, to the touch. So I probably wouldn't recommend this screen protector for use with the S Pen. Uh, let's see if there are any markings. We'll go ahead and wipe this off. Uh, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. There are those scratches right there, but I think that might be from uh, my microfiber cloth. Not really 100% sure, but that's the inner screen protector then the outer is pretty much the same thing it's got a, like a grippy feel to it it picks up uh, fingerprints and uh, dust and whatnot edges seem to be held down pretty good we'll go ahead and try the case here just put that over the top seems to be pretty good it looks like it doesn't come to the edge here if you put the screen protector all the way back against the phone so you don't have to worry about that touching so that's fine we'll go ahead and close it up for the first time see our screen here nice and clear touch working fine perfect we'll go ahead and open up the phone yep no bubbles everything seems to be doing good so again I don't really care for the fingerprints uh, the screen protector is doing its job for the S Pen wouldn't recommend it either um, I would probably it's a mixed bag it depends on what you're going to use the screen protector for if you don't want to use it for the S Pen um, and you don't care about the fingerprints then yes but if you use a S Pen and you care about the fingerprint smudges I would say no Pre for me I would go ahead and say stay away from this and I would give it a thumbs down okay so here we have Whitestone Dome glasses a screen protector for the outer screen so we get some alcohol wipes we get a little wipe here pretty nice get some dust removal stickers and then here we get two screen protectors now this is a glass screen protector um, but it doesn't use any liquid adhesive, it just adheres to your screen, which is pretty nice. Now all we need to do is take off our screen protector here. You just kind of bend this little piece back and then the screen protector will lift up. And then you just kind of want to line it up the best you can. And we'll just kind of push down in the middle here and it'll adhere all over the screen. You just kind of push out any bubbles. Okay, there it is all installed. Looks pretty nice. Feels very smooth, just like glass, because it is. We do have a couple little spots under here 
where you can probably try to work it out. I've tried a little bit, but they kind of don't seem to come out very well. Those might disappear within a couple days, but for the most part, it looks beautiful. Everything's uh, nicely cut out. Touch works great. It looks beautiful. Very nice. So let's go ahead and try a case here. So we do have some lifting uh, kind of in the, in the bottom left hand corner in the top right hand corner there. So if you do use a case, um, you just might want to be very, very careful about that and just place it maybe a little differently. Maybe move it more to the right because it doesn't, it does seem to have like a gap, a very small gap between the front of the case and the corners here. But if it wasn't for the case, everything would look uh, pretty nice. But again, like I said, if you're not using a case, then you really shouldn't have any issues uh, with the screen. Like I said, it is really nice. It does pick up some fingerprints. But as far as protecting the front glass of your, your phone, it looks really nice and it's nice and smooth. So, And that is the Whitestone Dome Glass EZ that is a glass screen protector but does not use any liquid adhesive. Okay, and then here we have the Whitestone Dome Premium Film Screen Protector for the inside screen. And here we get a large squeegee. We get our dust stickers and our wipe. Okay, so we also get a screen protector for the outer screen, the back of the phone, and the inner screen. So you get full protection, which is pretty nice. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is peel off number one. Then we need to line it up with our phone. Okay, once we have it lined up, we'll kind of just squeegee out any bubbles that we see. It's not too important because we haven't taken off or touched the portion of the screen that's going to be on your phone yet. But just try to get out as much as you can. Then what we're going to do is we're going to lift up number two and kind of peel it back here. We're going to take our squeegee and put it behind. We'll make sure that the, the film layer goes over the top of your screen. And then we're going to want to squeegee that out. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We'll go ahead and lift up on number three and we'll pull it back. We'll put our squeegee behind and then we'll just squeegee forward. And we'll go ahead and once you're done with that, we'll go ahead and peel off the top layer. And then just squeegee out the rest of any bubbles you may see. I did get some bubbles here. I got some on the edge over here and there's some up here and a couple down here. They may disappear within a couple days just uh, so the air, once the air, you know, disappears from there, uh, they should go down. But this screen protector looks pretty good other than that. It's got the cutout for the camera on the top there, no issues. It is kind of grippy, so your finger kind of stops a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and check out the touch. Touch seems to work fine. Screen looks beautiful because it is nice and clear. We'll test out the S Pen. So the S Pen does work. Um, there is some resistance because of that grippiness. So you may or may not like that. There are some um, marks from the S Pen. See those like right here. And it continues over here. 
So they may disappear, uh, like I said, in a day when this screen heals up a bit. But that's something to keep in mind. And it does pick up fingerprints. Um, so if that's something that bothers you, then you may not want this screen protector. But it is what it is. We'll go ahead and close it up. Open it up again. Yep, looks beautiful. Same, no creases in the middle. Perfect. And then if you really do care about getting the bubbles out, I was able to lift up in some of the corners and some of the edges very carefully uh, to get those bubbles out. And then you just kind of work the screen down again. And as you can see, for the majority of the bubbles, I was able to get them out. And some of them even kind of worked their way to the edge to where I could just kind of get them out normally. So that's one other thing you can, you can do. Just be very careful about uh, lifting it back up and then putting it down. So that is the inner portion. So now we'll go ahead and do the outer. Okay, so here's the outer screen. Again, we'll go ahead and peel off that number one. Try not to touch the underside. And then we'll go ahead and line it up the best that we can here. I use the little tabs for guides. And once you have it down, just kind of squeegee out the bubbles. Then we're gonna go ahead and lift up on tab two. Put our squeegee behind it. Make sure it goes over the outside of the screen. Just push forward. And we'll do the same thing for number three. Okay. And then we need to kind of smooth out this, this portion here, this sticker makes things really hard to install because it's like a bump. So once that's done, we'll peel off the top, top layer here. And just kind of squeegee out any bubbles you see. For the most part, everything looks pretty nice. I did get a couple bubbles near that sticker but everything else looks pretty good. It feels a little grippy, again, like the inside, but it's still smooth. It does kind of pick up um, some smudges. Go ahead and wipe that off. Very clear. Touch works perfectly. Your finger, your finger really kind of slides over it. It doesn't, doesn't feel like there's a screen protector there too much. It does pick up some fingerprints. You can see right there. And then we'll try a case. Okay. That one seems to work pretty well. So you can see there's no lifting. Everything works good. So if you want to use a case, you're most likely going to want to use the film screen protector. Take that off. And the screen protector still looks great. All right. So let's go ahead and start on the back side. Okay, so again, we'll peel off number one. Go ahead and lay this down. And squeegee out any of the bubbles. Okay, so again, we're gonna lift up on number two. You gotta be careful here because of the camera bump, so I'm gonna kind of offset it off to the right here. Make sure that goes over the camera. And just kind of press that down. You're gonna have to work this around too because it's gotta go around the camera. It looks pretty good. All right, we'll do the same thing for number three. Lift up and just kind of push this over the screen and out. Okay. And once you're done, just peel up the protective cover. And there you go. Beautiful. This is by far the best back screen protector I've seen because it covers the whole back. So it makes the, the whole phone look nice and shiny instead of half, like a three quarters of the piece. And then over here, it's still matte, which looks a little ridiculous. So I definitely do like this screen protector a lot.
So if you want to protect your whole phone, this is probably a good setup for the whole thing. I mean, look at... Can you tell that this phone was not matte in the back to begin with? That looks really nice. It feels just the same. It's kind of uh, grippy. Picks up fingerprints a little bit. But I think it looks pretty good. So there's the front and the back. Now as far as protection goes, uh, for a film screen protector, it does seem like it's, it's pretty nice, especially because it covers the front and the back and the inside of your phone all in one. It does pick up fingerprints and let's see if the S Pen has healed. The S Pen markings have healed a a mostly. You can still faintly see them, but I don't think it's a huge deal. If you want to protect your phone front, back, and center, then this is probably a good option for you and it even works well with cases. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the Whitestone Dome glass for your rear camera. Okay, so you get a couple of screen protectors, your dust stickers, some wipes, and like a little drying cloth. Okay, so this does look like it is metal, as you can see the silver on the inside, which is really nice. So it'll give you a little raised edge to protect your cameras. Super simple, all you need to do is clean this off with the alcohol prep, dry it off, and then we're gonna peel off the sticker in the back here. And then all you do is just simply drop it onto the cameras. And then just press it on. Pretty seamless installation. And that does create a raised edge for your cameras. So when you put your phone down on its back, nothing will touch the, the back cameras. There you go, looks pretty nice too. Doesn't really add a lot of bulk to the camera either. It's very thin, as you can see. And again, so when you put your phone face down, it, nothing will ever touch the camera because of that little bump. And then if you're using a rear case, there you go. Still looks pretty cool. And as you can see, it doesn't go over the raised edge of the camera case either. I think that looks pretty cool. Definitely going to give the camera protector a thumbs up. Okay, now we're going to test out the Big Daddy, the Whitestone Dome Silk. This one is their premium screen protector for the inside of your Galaxy Z Fold 3. Okay, so here we have a big remover pack sticker in case you need to remove the screen protector. Here you get one screen protector. We have our squeegee here. We have our little accessory packet. And here we have the whole setup for the installation. Okay, so here we have our tray. We're gonna go take our phone. And as you can see, the little camera slot here. So we're going to put the phone into the case with the camera in the little slot, just like that. Now, I already had it installed, but this little piece here with the four little nubs goes in on the top here. Just kind of press that in place. You want to make sure you don't have any dust or anything before we do this once more so I don't see anything. Go ahead and take our screen protector. Now, there's going to be a top that says top and a bottom here at the bottom. You want to line that up with the bottom and the top of this little holder here. So very important, there is a piece that we need to take off, but you need to make sure that it actually peels up and leaves the screen protector on this back cover, whereas mine it was coming up. So you just need to be very careful when peeling this off that it does actually leave the screen protector on the bottom part and don't touch the underside either. Now because when I peeled off that protective layer, it peeled off the screen protector as well, I have bubbles. So I don't know how this is gonna come out, but we're gonna go ahead and line this up. Put our four dots over the top portion here. And we're gonna line up the bottom portion. And then we're going to take this other piece that we have here and we'll just put it over the top. All right, and then we're going to take our squeegee. 
and we're going to start we're going to start at the very bottom here and make sure you keep equal pressure go slow and we're just going to push towards the other end of the phone here so here we go Okay, so it does look like we have some bubbles here. So, all right, maybe we can do it with this side. Lift this up a little bit. Okay, seems to be working pretty good. Get those bubbles out. Okay, so we can try again. Put those over the holes. Put this over here on the bottom portion. Put that top piece back on so it can hold. And then we'll try this again. So I don't think it's going to be possible to get these these bubbles out. It's just when the screen protector pulled away from the plastic piece, I think you might have just like ruined it. Um, you can lift up the bottom here very carefully. I'll try to do this again. Yeah, I can't tell if those bubbles are from the t top portion or not. Let's see, let's just lift this up. Oh, thank the Lord. except for that right there. And then we'll take our squeegee. Once we got that up, we'll go ahead and squeegee out any other little bubbles. Make sure we get everything down. That is pretty nice, except for this little section here. It looks pretty good. So go ahead and take our phone out. So it does feel pretty nice. There was a little issue when I tried to peel off the back. It peeled up the screen protector as well. Um, it is, it feels uh, kind of grippy. Your finger does want to stop on it. We'll go ahead and test out the screen here. No touch issues whatsoever. Everything works good. Very nice. We'll try out our S Pen. S Pen works good. There is resistance because it is like a grippy screen protector. So you may or may not like the fact that it doesn't just glide across the screen. There is resistance. We'll go ahead and turn the screen off. I see absolutely no pen marks, which is great, really nice, and we'll go ahead and close it up, open it up again, yep, no issues there whatsoever, no creases. Now I did get this right here, but again, it's that wasn't from the actual screen protector it just so happened that when I was trying to install it uh, I peeled off the back part and it pulled up the screen protector and it, it caused a little issue so 
Other than that, the screen protector is really nice. It does cover the camera, so we'll try our, our face recognition. Yeah, works fine. Yeah, so other than the issue, I think the, the installation was great. Everything would have came out perfect had the screen protector not gotten uh, lifted up with that back portion. I mean, it looks exactly like the phone was when I first got it. So that's pretty nice. So I would definitely give this screen protector a thumbs up if you're looking for a premium option that looked pretty much just like what was on your phone but gives you more protection. This is by far the best installation of a film screen protector that I've seen yet. It does pick up some fingerprints. We'll see how easily they are wiped away. Yeah, easily wiped away unlike some of the other ones as well. So no issues there either. And then last but not least, we do have the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector for the front screen of the phone. This is a two pack and it does use the liquid adhesive. Okay, so here we have the protectors for uh, some of the openings in our phone. Here we have our accessory packet. Here we have some more protectors for your speaker and then for the sides. Here we have our two screen protectors. You get three vials of adhesive. Here's our tray. And then here's our little LED UV light. You will need something to plug this into. I usually use a power bank. Okay, so before we get, begin, you just want to make sure you wipe down the whole front of the phone with one of these uh, alcohol wipes. Wipe it down really good. We'll dry that off really well. Make sure you dry everything. Now we're going to go ahead and take our phone and drop it into the tray. Just be sure that you put the phone in correctly. At the top here it says speaker, at the bottom it says connector. So this is the bottom portion. So we'll just go ahead and drop our phone in there. Kind of push it down with a wipe so you don't touch the screen. So it's in there pretty good. Use your dust stickers if you need to to get off any dust because you don't want to get anything underneath the screen. Now we're going to go ahead and take those protectors. We have some for the sides and then some for the top and the bottom. So we'll go ahead and peel off these here. So now we just need to peel off the undersides for the sticker. Right there. We'll go ahead and line that up with the little slot in here, with the little slot here. And just kind of smooth that down with your cloth. We'll do the same thing for the top portion here. Peel off from the clear and then peel off the underside. We'll put that on the top here. All right, so that's on there. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the sides, do the same thing for them. Okay, so we got that one on that side. We'll do the same for the other. So now that that's down, that's the top, so we'll go ahead and put that there. Or we'll take our other piece and then we'll put this over our phone here. It locks into place, and as you can see, the little pads here keep the liquid from flowing out over the edges as well. Make sure that that's clipped into place really, really well. So now what we need to do is we're going to take our bridge, we'll put it over the middle here. All right. We're going to take one of our vials. We're going to open the yellow portion first. Okay, and then we're going to put it into the middle hole here, upside down. Then we're going to release the top black screw until all the liquid has flown out into our screen. Then we need to take our little uh, pull piece here and we'll stick it into the top portion like that. I wanna tap this a couple times just to get all the liquid out. Okay, 
and we'll go ahead and put the black cap back on. All right, we'll take that out. Put the yellow cap back on just to keep everything nice and clean. Then we're going to take off our bridge. Then we need to take one of our screen protectors. We're going to peel off the back here. Don't touch the underside. All you need to do is take your glass and just drop it in on the back here and then let it fall up to the top like so. Get it lined up perfectly, okay. So then we're gonna press on the bottom here to get this little glob of adhesive down to the middle. Once it reaches the middle, we're gonna go ahead and pull out this little black portion and all the adhesive will go all over the uh, screen. So we'll go ahead and press this down. As you can see, it is flowing. Once it gets to the middle, we'll go ahead and pull out the top here. And there you go. And just let it, let it adhere to the whole screen for maybe, I'd say, a couple minutes or until you see all of the adhesive covering the whole screen. It's very important. If it's not, don't touch anything. Just let it, let it do what it's going to do. It will eventually get all over the whole screen. Okay, so from what I can tell, the adhesive has gone all over the whole screen. There's no portion that doesn't have any adhesive. So now we're going to use our UV LED. We're going to do 15 seconds at the top, middle, and then the bottom. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and take off all of our protection. Go ahead and take off the top. Lift it up very carefully so it doesn't lift off the screen. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and take off our stickers. Okay, now we need to get an alcohol wipe. So now we need to just very carefully get our phone out of the holder here. Okay. Then what we want to do is take the alcohol wipe and wipe around the edges to get any excess adhesive that might may have come through. Looks like a pretty flawless install so far. Then we'll take our little drying cloth and we'll just dry that off. Beautiful, so far so good. Okay, so now all we need to do is cure this for two minutes. Once on the top, once on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and press this in for uh, two times for 60 seconds. Now at the top. And I'm also going to do the middle for just for good measure. All right, so now that that's done, we'll go ahead and take a look at our phone. That is nice. Very clean. Look at those edges all around. Let's go ahead and test it out. Feels awesome, very smooth. Just like the glass on the uh, Galaxy Fold 3 itself. Go ahead and double click. Very Look at that. That is beautiful. Very nice touch. Works perfectly. No issues. Awesome. Very nice. I like the way that that feels. Okay, so big question. Does it work with cases? So here I have my case that I've been using for all my screen protectors. Go ahead and put it on the top here. It does seem to be case friendly. I don't know if you can see towards the edge here. It just barely reaches up to the case itself. So there's no lifting. And on the side here, in the front, it does exactly the same. Beautiful.
very nice so it does work with at least this case this is uh, made by Rinky go ahead and take off the case just so you can see there you go as you can see no lifting whatsoever very nice I I really like that that is that is nice as far as fingerprints goes it doesn't seem to pick up fingerprints very well so that's great very nice wow so <laughs> this is definitely the glass screen protector you're gonna want for the front of your phone yeah it wipes off really nice too just like the glass on the phone itself that is awesome yeah I definitely <laughs> definitely give a thumbs up for this screen protector this is by far the best front glass screen protector that I've reviewed yet easily cleaned works with cases definitely give this one a thumbs up so that is it for all the best and worst screen protectors for the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 3. If you guys have stuck with me this far, thank you so much for all of your support. And if you guys want to show me your support, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. It definitely helps me out and I really appreciate it. So I will be putting a link in the description for all these screen protectors in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.